There's the monitor setup. Monitor keyboard, external keyboard mouse, using my laptop. Here's the new editing station for right now. Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Hack the Honeydew List. I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, I'm getting to the point where I need a better place to edit. I've been doing everything on my phone and, and that laptop right there. You guys have gotten me to this point. I'm, I'm just starting to grow a little bit. Got a little bit of money, so I'm putting it back in the channel for you guys. Hopefully I can put out some better stuff. So thank you for everything and keep hitting that like button and, and comment. And bought myself two 24 inch monitors. Not the, not the most expensive, probably the cheapest ones I could find that, that have an HDMI hookup. Bought a USB-C hub right there, a new keyboard because I've been using the laptop and the phone to edit all my videos and, uh, Hopefully this will make the process just a little bit easier on me. Maybe I can start doing some better stuff for you guys. So today I've already put together, unboxed and put together this 24 inch Asus monitor. I'm gonna unbox this one, show you how to put it together on the stand. When I get done unboxing and putting together the second monitor, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the USB-C hub, get everything hooked up to the laptop and show you how to get your laptop screen so that you can use two external screens. Gonna help with production. I'm looking forward to it. This stuff out of the way. I'll unbox this. Well, let me unbox it now. So again, I just went on Amazon. I get, you know, I get everything from Amazon just about. Delivers right to your front door. I don't have to go to the store. I don't really like shopping. It's a USB-C multi-port hub by Solor. Anyway, let me show you what it looks like. So this just plugs into your USB-C on your laptop and then you got your HDMI port here and another one here and the two monitors are going to plug into. You also can put in a micro SD or a regular SD, your USB-C charger right here and then those are regular USB but they're all USB 3.0. On the side of my laptop here is your USB-C plug. When I've sat down with my laptop and I want to use the screens I'm just going to plug this in like that and it's going to pop my laptop screen up onto the two monitors recognize that chair this is the one i did the piston video on it's i got a massager on there all beat up still using it that's what i do if i don't need to spend the money i don't every little bit of money i get out of the channel is going to go back into the channel and then hopefully if you stick with me you'll see us you'll see us grow because i can't do it without you guys this came with the uh, monitor let's see for this monitor you don't even need your own tools Oh, right here is a flap. Make sure it's not pushed in. If you're trying to get the monitor out and you can't, it's because this is pushed in. I use this to carry the monitor and I, I couldn't get the I couldn't get the monitor out. I'll show you. I'll leave it pushed in. But since I gotta break down the box anyway, I like to open up both sides. It makes it easier to push the thing out. This is the, the directions and it has the hardware in it. So here's, the, here's the tool and the screws you're going to need. So let me show you. I got the box open all the way around. So that's not going to hold it up. What I was trying to do was get it out. It wouldn't come out. This flap right here. Pull it out. If it's in, boom. Recycle the cardboard. Comes with your HDMI cable already. Comes with your power cord. And then your stand. This is the stand comes with some styrofoam. You don't need that. I'm trying to figure out some projects I can do with this old styrofoam, but I don't know. So it's kind of a shame it goes into the dump. Go ahead and uh, unwrap everything. This is the base. collect all my plastic if we do recycle around here this is the um, part of the base this is what holds your monitor and then see these holes here they line up with those posts it's a ziploc bag I and mean, if you want to reuse them for something not all of them see this is not ziploc but the power cord was i don't get it now there's a ziploc bag i can understand it for the screws so they don't come out you got four screws and the tool. And then you got, this is the arm, I guess, that connects to the monitor itself. You can see the holes here. They go onto the base 
and then this has a screw on the bottom that secures it. So we're gonna show you all that and then we'll connect the cables. So I like using this bag. So if you're gonna lay it on the face of the monitor, it'll protect the screen. I'll show you right here how this goes on. See these two little tabs sticking up? They're gonna go into these slots right here. So they're gonna go in like that and then lay it down. That's gonna be able to hold that monitor. It's only holding it because I'm putting the force down on here. You gotta put the four screws in right here. So let's take care of that real quick. Sorry about the lighting. I got a, got a window right here and the sun is just beaming through it. I gotta, when I get the office set up, I will have the desk in a better place for when I do film here. Winter time, I like to do small videos at the desk because it's cold out in the shop. So go ahead and put your four screws in. Take your screwdriver. You can either use your own or use the one they give you. This one's, it's shaped like an Allen wrench, 90 degree Allen wrench. So you can just use this to twist it really quickly. No need to use a, no need to use a power screwdriver drill or anything unless you got arthritis or something. Then I can understand, but this is, you see how quick it is. Really simple. Now it's not going to come off of there at all. See, so this is the cover you snapped off. These are the tabs on the bottom. You can see how it fits around the arm. It just covers that up so you can, it looks nice from behind. Put that back on and see how it's in a triangle. These are in a triangle. The, the open V is going to face towards the front of the monitor like that one. See how it's sticking out like this. Now remember, the monitor is laying on its face, so the V is going to go like that. And it, it'll only go in one way. You just kind of set it in there one way. This has a tab that comes out, so you can turn it like a thumb screw, or you can use the screwdriver. So I start it with the thumb, uh, with that little wing, then you fold it back over, and then get a little snug with your screwdriver. Putting it, turning it this way gives you more leverage. Just get a little snug while I got it on its face with its back facing me I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the cables just so they're done here's the power cable power cable goes right there and then the HDMI cable goes right there power cable HDMI cable these are the cheapest twisty ties ever they don't even feel like they got much wire in it to hold them so really no use of saving them now that's the HDMI cable and you can see that it fits in right here. Slide that in. You got a headphone slot right here. You want to hook up external speaker or some headphones, but that's it for the monitor. Go ahead and stand it up. Sun's really putting a damper on my video right now. The monitors don't go up and down, but they do tilt back and forth. I'm drop this power cord down behind so I can plug it in. So I've got my laptop. USB-C is on the left side. Unbox the keyboard. I wanted a wired keyboard. I've had um, troubles at work with wireless. Just kind of doing their own thing sometimes and it's very frustrating when you're in the flow. I don't know. It's just, um, haven't seen me in a while. I've been on uh, vacation explorer in Florida for, well, I don't know, <clears throat> four weeks or so. Three and a half weeks. Saw some really cool stuff. So this is a wired keyboard. Uh, very inexpensive. Again, one of the most inexpensive ones I could find right now. This plugs into one of the USBs. Probably going to want my laptop on this side. So I got to bring my HDMI cables. And I gotta plug them in one at a time. Remember I told you on the end is an HDMI. And then on this, the end, but the long side next to it, another HDMI. My mouse, which I've had, this mouse has done a lot of work on these videos. Another USB goes in the other USB slot. So this, this, this USB hub had everything that I needed. Because I just needed a keyboard and mouse, two monitors. I didn't see a point 
and getting anything more expensive. I ordered all this before I went on a Florida road trip, so I don't recall the, the prices of everything, but I can tell you the monitors were about a hundred bucks each. Keyboard is probably under ten dollars, and then the the hub I don't I don't remember honestly, maybe twenty bucks. It's not much money here, um, but it's gonna increase my productivity and comfort while hopefully editing some videos for you guys. Like I said, I mean, I appreciate everything. I never dreamed that 10 people would watch my videos, much less some of the, some of the views that I've had. So, and the comments and the positivity. Gotta come down here and plug them in. The surge protector has been with me for years. You can see the cable protection. Don't use that anymore. Right here, you can see the power. Boom. Yeah, sorry about the light behind the video. I know that's terrible. All three screens are lit up, but they all got the same thing on them. So I got to set it up. But that's pretty cool, right? It says in compliance with energy related regulatory, the max brightness setting of energy saving mode is fixed. Would you like to remain in energy saving mode? Got to use the arrows and the check mark down here. So I'm going to just leave it in there right now. Look at there. Well, there's my channel from the inside view. Check out these slate coasters that my son made for me with his laser etching machine. Pretty cool. I like them. Also like Batman. So he did two Batman and two um, Hack the Honeydew List logos for me. Pretty cool. So I got all three looking the same. I need to stop that. So go in onto your background, just right click and hit display settings. Right here, you're gonna see duplicate desktop one and two. You can hit identify. They all show one dash two because I'm duplicating them. But if, if I go down here, I put extended desktop on one and two. Now you can see that they're all different. But it went back because I didn't say keep settings. So what I'm gonna do is put extend desktops, keep changes. You can see it shows which is which. We want, remember window locations based on monitor connection. We want that. We want minimize windows when a monitor is disconnected. Erase cursor movement between displays. We want that too. Now, up here at the top, select the display to change the settings for it. Drag displays to rearrange them. So what I want is I'm going to want right now, I'm going to want one, two, three. So it says drag displays to rearrange them. So I want to go one and then two. Got to hit apply. I got them set. One, two, three. So, so it should be, it should be one, two, three. Now I got to go down here and I got to hit apply. Now my cursor should travel the correct way. It should be one big screen. That's what we want. See my mouse goes to that screen and goes right onto that screen. Watch my mouse. So now I have one big screen I can work with. The middle monitor turned it into my main display. So I open the settings and then I highlighted monitor two. This is my main display. So highlight the monitor you want, your main display, main display. So I have my two monitors up and running. I'll have to rearrange all of my icons to fit where I want them. But now I can separate until I get a, a dedicated, because I do use my laptop for personal stuff too, until I get a dedicated work laptop. I can um, I can leave like my YouTube tools on one screen and my personal uh, folders on, the, on another. Now when I want to work at the desk, so say I'm doing something on the couch or whatever, I can just disconnect my laptop right here and then screens will shut off. Take my laptop, do whatever I need. The mouse and keyboard will stay connected to the hub. I'll clean all this up when I figure out how I'm gonna set it up. Mouse and keyboard will stay connected to the hub along with the monitors. And all I gotta disconnect is this right here. Take the laptop, bring the laptop back, plug that in, plug the, plug the USB-C hub back into my USB-C port on the side of the laptop, and then I got the screens to utilize again. There's the monitor set up. Monitor, keyboard, external keyboard, mouse, using my laptop. Here's the new editing station for right now. Sorry about the sun coming in behind me. And do me a favor and do the youtube -y stuff down below. Pound a like, share, throw a comment if you want. Let me know if you want to see something. Just say, hey, what up, B? Um, see you on the next one.